Oil lost more than 5% of its value and is set for a further decline on Thursday. Oil bears pushed the Brent quotes below $39 per barrel. Meanwhile, over the past day, the Russian currency dropped by 2.4% against the US dollar. Yet, there is still a chance for the ruble to return to the 75 mark. In the morning trade, the oil market made several attempts to rebound, but was pressured by the negative factors, so crude prices are falling again. Brent oil futures for December went lower by more than 2% in the mid-session and settled at $38.77 per barrel. Likewise, WTI futures contracts with the nearest expiration slipped below $37 per barrel. Oil prices eased amid the data from the U.S. Energy Information Administration. The report showed an increase in U.S. crude stockpiles, twice exceeding analysts' expectations. The average daily oil production has also surged. This is hardly surprising since energy companies restored the output in the Gulf of Mexico after the hurricanes passed. Today, traders continue evaluating the bearish data. The decline in oil prices is also associated with the sell-offs on the global markets. It seems that oil hesitates to follow the rebound seen on other trading floors. Thus, US index futures advanced by almost 1%, which should be a supporting factor for risky assets. Futures and options are about to expire at the end of the month, so major market players may take advantage of volatile markets and pursue their goals. Yesterday, Brent price shortly approached the mark of $39 per barrel, yet on Thursday it has easily broken below this level. This may indicate further pressure on oil prices with the nearest downward target at $35 per barrel. It's still possible, though, that Brent may pull back and return to the previous range between $38 and $40 per barrel. Investors began to flee from risky assets right after France and Germany announced major COVID-19 restrictions in their countries. When this information was officially confirmed, market participants calmed down a bit. At the moment, global markets are going through a phase of correction. The ruble's rapid fall was also put on hold. The dollar versus Russian ruble pair edged slightly higher in the day trade and settled at the level of 79. Such internal factor as the auction of governmental bonds carried out by the Russian Ministry of Finance could not save the ruble from a deep plunge yesterday. At the moment, there are no serious reasons that would push the ruble lower, so there is a possibility that the ruble will have a short-term rise to the level of 75 against the US dollar. Today, the pair is expected to hold within the channel of 78.50, 79.50. The ruble will face a new challenge if Joe Biden wins the US presidential election. The candidate from Democrats considers Russia a number one threat to the US. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice trading day. Bye.